Hello everyone and welcome back to part number 8 of this tutorial. Uh, we're gonna create some trees to fill up the scene and uh, there is a great tool for that. It's not integrated in Blender but you can download it. It's called Arbaru. Uh, yeah, this is the website of Arbaru. There are some sample trees and we're gonna use one of it. Uh, and we pick this Quaking Aspen. So go to this web link, download it. Uh, it's not a plugin, it's just if I go to Arbaru get something like this you have to install Java and if I click on that button we get Arbaru with some amazing trees so there are loads of tutorials on the internet who explain Arbaru and maybe I will spend one on it uh, but for this time I'm loading the Quaking Aspen where is it open it so and then we have to change something. So this is the tree and there are all settings what you can change. We want to change the leaves. So by normal, it's uh, a disc and we want a square. So uh, some, some people uh, go and think, oh, we have square, but you should select this square. So it's good for a UV map. Next step to do is go to file export tree and you go to uh, make this wavefront obg uv coordinates very important if you don't select it there are no coordinates and you are uh well you have to all you have to do it all by yourself and you can save some time over here so you choose the map we don't want it in our aburu map we want it in our uh, tree map there is already some trees i call this tutorial 2 you just give it a name wherever you like it there we go so check, check, double check and start the engine. And that's just four seconds. You can close it, close program. No, we don't want it. Uh, no, we don't want you. We just want our blender scene. So I want it in another layer, maybe layer number three. So file, import, no, file, import, obg, tutorial two. What? There it is. There is our beautiful tree. So I think uh, we select the. Yeah, sometimes it's duplicated in four layers, but uh, I don't know why that is. So, uh, yep. <laughs> we have to scale this a bit. Uh, we're starting by uh, adding some textures on the leaves. And it's not that hard in cycles. You just go to use, uh, notes, <laughs> not uses. Um, I thought I put my, yeah, there's just, I have a lot of leaves and selected this one because it has some nice colors in it. Open it. Um, next thing to do, we have to do some short note tricks to make that transparent. So we have the image, diffuse material. We want some transparency in it and even more, but we start with this. So we go to shader, mix shader. Mix shader is for, uh, yeah putting more shaders together so and we want a transparent and we also want some translucent well let's mix them yeah this preview is fantastic if we select the right things together so this looks I think if we put this one down yeah it looks like this so it's great I make that mistake a lot of times but with this preview window it looks always good um yeah what we also want to do is add shader mix shader and add uh shader is a glossy to make some shiny material on it um and i make that a value of uh, 0 0.02 so there is some reflection on the leaf what i really like maybe 0 0.01 yeah. All right, and we go back. So there is a material. If I hit render, there should be. Oh, we have a look in the UV image editor. Yeah, that's great. That looks good. So we hit render, and it won't crash. So we have some nice uh, leaves in the tree. Make it solid. We go to the stem, and there is already a UV image on it. So uh, projection on it or it's unmapped <laughs> wherever <laughs> it's good so we want to stem and I have that for you there's that one um, and we want 
to open our UV image editor. There it is. And to have a close look, we zoom in, go to the material. Oh, I just select that one. You can see. So this looks a bit uh, not 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 what we want. So select it. Uh, go back to the material. Something like this. Make it bigger. Smaller. Yeah. You can imagine this looks okay. Mm. Yeah. Whatever. It looks believable. Um, the next thing what we want is uh, uh, what we can do is select the, the next one. It's these things and same trick image open uh, and we have select the texture we open it um, there we go and we can zoom in to have a closer look so we see the texture yeah it's stretched of course it's just this there's no I didn't put any attention on it so it's in the tree so you won't see anything so don't overdo it uh, apply material open you have to have some patience on it like this make that smaller a bit more okay well it's done um, I want to do some more on this material go to the note editor because when you have a leaf and you put it in the light you can see it's a bit transparent but you have some other tools for it. It's called translucency and you add this shader and you can't use a mix shader. Translucency wants an add. Shader, uh, translucent, as it works different. And now it's totally white, so we get to keep that dark. So if we make that here, you can see it's going to be a bit transparent when we just want this value not totally black but just very little and you won't see any of this no um, and the bark tree we want some uh, uh, reflection on it so it's not very dark and that's just by add shader mix shader so uh, I can show you what we have right now because I'm just not just doing it render it so this is the tree. It looks like a tree where it looks okay. It's not really special, but it looks okay. Um, mix this, add shader glossy. No, add shader glossy. And put the glossy in that one. Make this 0 0.02, I think 0 0.01, 0 0.01 and something else copy this image add uh, color mix and making that multiply we want the black and white areas putting it right there is for the bump displacements or whatever uh, making this 0.99 and if we hit render again there should be more reflection on the tree trunk and just a little bit maybe it's 0 0.02 to make it more visible a little bit more yeah these are just small things so save the work uh, we want one screen go here and putting that in layer one um, yeah something like this okay uh, yeah where do we want it? Uh, I think in a place where we think it looks good. So, yeah, we're gonna duplicate this house right now. So, this is a nice lane. Uh, but uh, let me think. Let me think. So, we copy this house with everything in it. Something like this Alt D. Um, yeah. It's copy. All right, <laughs> and we want.
want a copy of all this. Alt D, that's a bit messy. Um, put it right there. We have to crop this a little bit. Well, it's not a big problem. Oh, come on. Oops. Oh, yeah, because it is new object and data, and we can crop it right now. It's not the best thing, but. Uh, Oh, these are nice parking links. I was, I see. <laughs> I haven't recognized it. So there we go. If we go to this view, yeah, it looks good. We have a nice tree. I don't like to put a tree over there, so I will put one there. So we fill this empty space. Oh, that's a great idea. Alt D, rotate it. Let's go to this, and we want some of it in our. So we fill this empty space. We have to rotate the camera, I think, a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we get. And one more thing is Alt D, and we rotate it. Um, we want some of these right there, and you can. There, thing that to remove everything what's there. Maybe we should do that. This is totally ridiculous. Or maybe you like the reflection on the cross. Maybe we like that, or do we? Um, no, I think I like this. So, okay, uh, save the work, save it, and we hit render. It's getting really slower at the time, every time. So ignore the grass, I put it on 10s, uh, displaying 10, so it won't look that brilliant. Oh yeah, it's so dark, because I think there's no sunlight. Now we have sunlight, we have to change some values, make that 7, yeah, this looks good, make a render, and we wait, it's all CPU rendering, so uh, if you have a, uh, a very fast uh, GPU render card, I can recommend that. So what I like in this uh, image, because we, still sit, we are still on the first sample so we wait till the next one is there so we can see some more and we need okay there it is there's some nice reflection on this one you can s see some dark areas that's good and the same for this one um and we have to change some black stuff over there okay but yeah we get already a, a very nice image we have should put a backplate in it and some compositing. And we have to fix a lot of bumpy material on the house, what I will do in uh, uh, another part. So yeah, uh, in the next part, some fixes, and uh, yeah, making it very nice. That's the next part. See you there, see ya.